Uh, one of the things that I do want to compliment all the workers, Rebecca, also the uh, Infrastructure Trust, that what this chart shows right back here is that over a 10 year period of time, the city of Chicago is going to save $100 million in utility costs or energy costs. So it saves time, saves money, saves energy, and it's also a complement to our safety goal. This took us a while, and the aldermen, knowing what their residents want, one of the number one, one of the number one calls to 311 if for lights out. What's unique about Chicago is not only are we doing every street light and alley as a smart light, LED light, it will be attached to a smart grid, which is unique in Chicago, so you will not have to call 311 in the future. They will know when a light is about to go out a week ahead of schedule so we can already get the work done. It will also save us time in that way and it will not rely on people to have to call in when either a light is, started, is out or weakening. The smart system will alert the central office and then uh, Chicago Department of uh, Transportation will be able to send a crew beforehand so you won't have a light or a street of lights out. We will know beforehand so that's what it's not only LED light but it's a smart system it will save on energy, it will also save on costs, and we'll be able to more effectively respond and deliver neighborhood services to our residents. With that, I'm going to call on Rebecca Scheinfeld, who's been leading this effort for the City of Chicago in partnership with the Infrastructure Trust, and let me have, thank her ahead of time and all the workers for doing this diligently throughout the system in the City of Chicago, as I think we are now at 42,000? 42, 42,000 lights have been uh, installed throughout the City of Chicago. Rebecca? This is a complex project because we are getting it right and we're doing something very innovative for the city. We're also joined in partnership with our contractors and our funding and implementation partners. ComEd has been a huge partner in this effort. As the mayor noted, because of the greater energy efficiency of LED lights, we are projecting to save over $100 million in utility costs for the electricity bill for streetlights in the city over the next 10 years. ComEd is also providing energy efficiency rebates to incentivize the capital cost of these fixture installations. And so that is also further reducing the cost of implementation. We're also joined today by our partners at Elevate Energy, Elevate Energy, who have been part of the processing of these rebate applications and harnessing as much money as possible for the taxpayers of Chicago. We are projecting that ComEd will be partnering with the city to provide $35 million in total rebates over the course of the next four years. I also want to acknowledge the, all the workers that are making this happen. We have a contractor team for this project led by Amoresco. We also have Millhouse Engineering, who is our construction management team, John Burns Construction, which is the firm doing the installation of the LED lights, and ITRON, which is doing the technology component. So let's give them all a hand. We've got many people here from the team today. It's their hard work day in and day out that's getting this done. As the mayor noted, we've installed more than 42,000 fixtures to date. Over the next four years, we expect to do 270,000 fixtures across the city. That's approximately 85% of the street lights in the city. Arterials, residential, alley, viaduct. We've already completed installations along some major arterials like Western, Foster, Belmont, Clark on the north side. We've been working on the west side and the south side arterials, and we've been working on west side residential streets already. Behind me, you'll see a map that shows work completed to date and where we're expecting to get by the end of the summer. And we'll be continuing to update the public on progress. Please check out our website, chicagosmartlighting.org, that is updated weekly, showing where we've been and where we're going to be going in the next two weeks. And that's a great source of information for aldermen and residents about information about the scope of the project, what to expect when we're working on your street, as well as where we're going next. So once again, I want to thank Mayor Emanuel for his leadership and vision on this project. It's been a great team effort and we're really excited with the progress and pleased to see the performance of the lights so far. So thank you, Mayor Emanuel, and thank you to the whole team. And now I have the pleasure of introducing Fidel Marquez from ComEd, who as I noted is a great partner in this effort. Fidel? We're very proud and honored to be working with the City of Chicago in this great project. Already we've mentioned the uh, rebates for energy efficiency that these lights uh, do provide and you heard the savings uh, that will be achieved once uh, all the lights are put in. But in addition to the safety, in addition to the savings, in addition to the reduced time the mayor mentioned, I want to put this in a different context that is also very much a part of the mayor's agenda and that's the environmental benefits. Because once these lights are put in, 
the city will use 18.5 million kilowatt hours less a year. Now, that number may not mean anything to you other than to myself, uh, being an electrical engineer, but from an environmental standpoint, that means that that's enough energy to power about 1,900 homes a year, every year, and the equivalent reduction in that energy is like taking carbon, is taking carbon out of the atmosphere, the emissions, the equivalent of taking 2,400 cars off the road on an annual basis. And those environmental benefits obviously create a healthy environment for the citizens of Chicago. Can't miss on those. Uh, we operate and own 140,000 similar lights outside the city of Chicago. We use the same technology to, that makes them smart. So us continuing to collaborate with the city of Chicago would take this best in class world system even further in the future. Thank you.